welcome back everyone. Today we'll be doing a review of the Nerf V 2.0 Phoenix. This is a compact submachine gun. Um, so basically an Uzi, uh, depending on what you think about it. It's got two standard attachment ports at the back and front. It's got a nice stock attachment port for a stock like this. Um, and a standard elite nut at the front that you can attach barrels. Also has a lot of rails for a gun of this type. One here, one here, one here, on the other side. There, and one on the very back. Uh, very useful. Uh, if you want to do like gangster style, you can like clip one to the side and go like. Um, pretty interesting. Um, also the black, the black there. I sharpened that on. It does not come black. Uh, Nerf would probably get arrested or like, you know, get a lawsuit <laughs> for putting black on there. Guns. Um, it doesn't really have a lot of features, which I was, I was a little disappointed about. Mostly just functionality. Um, it does have a very cumbersome um, release button for the magazine. You have to like push it in with like your thumb. It's so hard. You can't. It's, it's very hard. Not good if you want to reload quick. It's got a nice little hole up top. You can reach in, move the bolts around. Um, a little small. So it can make it kind of hard to unjam stuff, but it, it's functional. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Takes a minute to warm up, which is a little hard. As you can see, it fires pretty quickly. Uh, if you shoot too fast, though, then it tends to jam. But uh, yeah, all in all, I'd say that this is a functional gun. But it can be kind of trippy, you know, if you shoot a little too fast, it'll jam. If you shove it, if you shove this in at an angle, it'll get weird. If you put on a barrel to tap it the wrong way, then it'll like break. The batteries tend to fall out completely randomly. All in all, I'd say it's a perfectly good gun, but like, it's not reliable at all. So, yeah. <laughs> 